Imagine meeting your past self. Sounds cool, right? But what if it could erase you? What if that meeting could rewrite your entire life? It's a chilling thought, isn't it? Let's say you could travel back in time. You meet your younger self. What happens? Do you shake hands? Do you even recognize each other? This meeting creates a paradox. You are meeting the person you were, but because you traveled back, aren't you also different? Imagine the confusion. Your past self, still naive and unaware of the future you hold, faces the you, molded by years of experience and wisdom. It's like looking into a distorted mirror, a reflection of what was and what could be all rolled into one mind-bending encounter. The very act of being in the same space and time as your past self could unravel the continuity of your timeline. We've all heard of the butterfly effect. A butterfly flaps its wings in Brazil, setting off a chain of events that leads to a tornado in Texas. Now, imagine the impact of meeting your past self. Every word you speak, every action you take, could alter the course of your past self's life, leading them down a different path, making different choices and ultimately becoming a different person. And if they become a different person, are you still you? It's a question that sends chills down your spine. The person you are today, shaped by your past experiences, could be fundamentally altered, erased even by the very act of trying to connect with your past self. Think about your favorite time travel movies. Back to the Future, Terminator, 12 Monkeys. They all grapple with the mind-blowing possibilities and terrifying consequences of altering the past. These stories, while fictional, offer a glimpse into the potential pitfalls of time travel, especially the dangers of encountering your past self. Remember Marty McFly nearly fading from existence because he interfered with his parents' meeting? Or the Terminator sent back to protect a young John Connor, the future leader of the human resistance? These movies underscore a crucial point. The past is not ours to tamper with. Altering it, even with the best intentions, could have disastrous and irreversible consequences. While we haven't invented a time machine yet, the potential for time travel raises some serious questions about free will, destiny, and the nature of reality itself. If we could change the past, would we be bound by the same rules of cause and effect? Or would we be rewriting the script of our lives with every trip back in time? The very idea of meeting our past selves while tantalizing is fraught with danger. It's a concept that pushes the boundaries of our understanding of physics and forces us to confront the profound implications of tampering with the very fabric of time. So the next time you daydream about going back in time, remember the potential consequences. Think about the paradoxes, the ripple effects, and the very real possibility that meeting your past self could unravel the fabric of your existence. We've talked about the butterfly effect, but meeting your past self? That's not a butterfly, that's a meteor strike on the timeline. Imagine the shock on your past self's face, seeing you, older, maybe wiser, standing right there. Everything you are is because of the choices your past self made. Now you show up, a walking, talking spoiler alert to their entire existence. What if they decide to change things based on what you tell them? That change, however small, ripples outward. You might go back thinking you're going to give your younger self a pep talk and accidentally erase your entire reason for existing. Now let's get philosophical for a second. If you meet your past self, are you really talking to you? Or are you talking to a separate entity frozen in a moment in time that's no longer yours? Your past self is a snapshot of who you were, not who you are now. The you standing there in the present, you've lived, learned, and grown in ways your past self can't even comprehend. So how do you even begin to communicate? How do you explain the future to someone who hasn't lived it yet? And what if in trying to explain you change the very thing you're trying to preserve? It's like trying to tell someone what a dream feels like while they're wide awake. Let's talk about the big one, the paradox that keeps time travelers up at night, the grandfather paradox. The scenario is simple but terrifying. You travel back in time and for whatever reason prevent your grandfather from meeting your grandmother. No meeting, no parents, no you. Except if you were never born, how could you have gone back in time to erase your own existence in the first place? It's a mind-bending paradox that highlights the potential for catastrophic consequences when messing with time. Some theories propose alternate timelines where your actions create a branching reality where you don't exist, but your original timeline remains intact. It's a comforting thought, but it also means that even if you could travel back, you might not like the consequences of your actions no matter how good your intentions. Now let's flip the script. What if meeting your past self isn't about changing the past but about fulfilling it? What if you're meant to meet, 
that the encounter is a preordained part of your journey through time. Imagine this. You travel back in time and give your younger self a piece of advice or a key bit of information. That information inspires them, sets them on a path that leads to them becoming the very you that traveled back in time. It's a closed loop, a self-fulfilling prophecy woven into the fabric of your timeline. This idea suggests that time might not be linear but cyclical, that our past, present and future are interconnected in ways we can't even begin to comprehend. Science fiction is a playground for our imaginations but it often serves as a warning too. Take Back to the Future. Marty McFly messes with the past and almost blinks out of existence. Or think about 12 monkeys. A man travels back in time to stop a deadly virus but his memories are fragmented, unreliable. These stories remind us that time travel isn't as simple as hopping in a DeLorean. It's about the choices we make, the consequences we face, and the responsibility we bear for our actions even when traveling through time. Science fiction writers explore the potential of time travel, the implications, the dangers. Imagine meeting your past self, not with advice or warnings, but with the weight of your experiences, the scars you've accumulated, the pain you've endured. How would your past self react? Would they see you as an inspiration or a cautionary tale? Time travel, even if possible, wouldn't be a walk in the park. It would be a psychological roller coaster. Meeting your past self could trigger unforeseen emotional consequences. We often talk about changing the past, but what about the past changing us? But let's flip the coin again. What if meeting your past self wasn't about changing the past or freaking out about the future, but about understanding yourself better? What if you could have a conversation with the younger you, the one who made the choices that led you to where you are today? What would you say? What would you learn? Meeting your past self could be an opportunity for self-reflection, for understanding how your past experiences have shaped who you are today. It's a chance to connect with your past, to learn from it, and maybe even to forgive yourself for the mistakes you made along the way. Now let's get really out there. What if meeting your past self wasn't just about the past but about glimpsing into your own future? What if the person you met wasn't who you were, but who you're becoming? Think of it like this. If time is a river, maybe when you travel back you're not going upstream, but catching a reflection of yourself further down the river's course. The you you meet, it's not the you of yesterday, but a potential you of tomorrow. If you see a future version of yourself does that mean it's set in stone or is it just one of many possible paths you could take? We've danced around the dangers, haven't we? But let's address the elephant in the room, or should I say, the elephant in the time machine. Meeting your past self, it's not just about paradoxes and timelines, it's about your mind. Imagine the shock, the disorientation, the sheer impossibility of seeing yourself standing right there, younger, full of dreams you may have seen crumble, some physicists, they'll tell you about temporal shock, the mental strain of experiencing time outside its normal flow. Now, imagine that shock multiplied by seeing your own face staring back. Here's a chilling thought. What if meeting your past self doesn't just mess with your mind, but unravels your very existence? Sounds crazy, right? But the universe doesn't always play by our rules. Some scientists believe that if you went back and fundamentally changed your past, your present self might cease to be. Think about it, if you prevent your parents from meeting do you just vanish, poof, gone? It's a scary thought, the idea that our existence is so fragile, a house of cards waiting for a temporal breeze to knock it over. Let's say you do meet your past self. Let's say you survive the paradoxes and the existential dread. You've got a whole new problem on your hands. What do you tell them? Do you warn them about every heartbreak, every bad decision? Do you give them the winning lottery numbers, or do you say nothing? letting them walk into the future blind just like you did. The burden of knowing the future, even your own, is heavier than you might think. Every piece of advice you give, every warning you utter, changes them. And what if, by trying to protect them, you make things worse? What if the very act of interfering robs them of the experiences that made them who they are? One last thing to consider. If you meet your past self, how does that change how you see yourself? You're not just a person anymore, you're a paradox personified. Imagine looking into the eyes of someone who is you, but also isn't. Someone who made different choices, who might have different dreams, different regrets. It makes you question everything. Are you the sum of your experiences or are you something more? Is there a core you that persists through time or are you just a collection of moments constantly changing, evolving? These are big questions, folks, the kind that philosophers have been wrestling with for centuries. And time travel, it throws a whole new wrench into the works. It's enough to make you question your sanity, your reality, your very place in the universe. 
But then again, maybe that's the point. Maybe time travel isn't about changing the past or seeing the future, but about understanding ourselves better, even if it means facing the most mind-bending questions imaginable. We've journeyed through the mind-boggling world of time travel, haven't we? From paradoxes to the butterfly effect, from existential erasure to the sheer psychological weight of meeting ourselves, we've covered a lot of ground. But if there's one thing to take away from all this, it's this. The past, it's a powerful force. It shapes who we are, but it's also something we need to respect. Tampering with time, it's not a game, folks. The allure of changing the past, of fixing our mistakes, it's understandable, but we've seen the potential consequences, paradoxes, timelines unraveling, the very fabric of our existence at risk. It's enough to make you want to stay put, right here in the present. But that doesn't mean we can't learn from the past. Every memory, every experience, it's a lesson waiting to be understood. We don't need a time machine for that, just the willingness to look back, to reflect, and to grow. It's science fiction, sure, but it also makes us think about the big questions. What is time? Do we have free will? Are we just stories the universe tells itself? These are questions without easy answers, maybe without any answers at all. But that's part of the beauty of it all, isn't it? The universe, it's full of mysteries, things we may never fully comprehend, and time? Well, that's the biggest mystery of them all. Maybe someday we'll crack the code. Maybe we'll build that time machine and come face to face with our past selves. But until then, we have our memories, our stories, and the infinite potential of the present moment. So what would you say to your past self? Let me know in the comments below. And while you're there, hit that subscribe button and check out my other videos on the mysteries of the universe. So there you have it, folks. The mind-blowing, potentially terrifying, and utterly fascinating world of time travel and the paradoxical implications of meeting your past self. It's a lot to digest, I know. What would you say to your younger self if given the chance? Would you try to change the past, knowing the risks involved, or would you simply observe taking comfort in the knowledge that you turned out okay? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I'm always fascinated to hear your perspectives on these mind-bending topics. And hey, while you're down there, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to Time Pilgrimage for more explorations into the mysteries of time, space, and the universe we call home. Until next time, keep looking up.